I had the privilege to lead the enormously successful first Singapore Everest expedition in 1998. But a week after I returned, I was paralyzed completely by a rare nerve disorder. It was severe enough to keep me hospitalized for six months and left me permanently disabled. Despite having disabilities in both legs and my hands, I worked out a plan to make a mountaineering comeback, creating a set of skills and attitudes and self-leadership that I use today. In February 2000, my friend and I set off to tackle Aconcagua, the highest mountain in North and South America. We were unsupported by guides or had the usual trappings of big expeditions. And we succeeded. I've spent years delivering a message with a set of simple but powerful tools that helps me survive and thrive on and off the mountains. These are truths which are embraced by my audiences and have benefited thousands. We dug deep into ourselves and we realized that we had to get together as a team to succeed. One of the things I learned really about team cohesion is that in every team, there are people motivated by different things. How do you push them towards that particular goal? How do they take upon responsibilities and be motivated enough? If you give people a chance to achieve their personal dreams, they can achieve the team goal. It's like those bridges you cross in your life. You know you won't go back across the bridge until you finish your task. Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest gap between where we are and where we want to be is not geological, geographical. It's between our two ears. It is all right to sometimes say, I don't think we can make it. As long as you say more often, I think we can make it. When Pinaki came up here on stage, he had no idea what I was going to ask him or do with him. Leadership requires risk taking. But we all know with risk comes what? Rewards. Rewards. Climbing Everest requires breaking it into parts, into stages. And each stage, you get stronger, you come back, you rest, you go up for the next stage. It's very much like any major project that you're leading in your personal or professional life. The climbing can get very steep and arduous, and the living can get very hard. What I mean by hard living? Hard living is giving up all the things we take for granted, all the creature comforts. Standing up and giving an answer because all the rest of you takes courage. Think about this, you have a fine product here, don't you? Yes. Thank you. If there's one thing that kept me going, it was the fact that I wanted to regain my life. And that's the important thing to realize. That if anything happens to you in which you've lost your life, you want, you'll give up anything to get it back. And here's where I count on my team, my good friends, my mother, my father. These are the people that kept me going through these darkest days. I've returned to the Himalayas. I met with mixed fortune. But I know my process is right, and I know my will is there. So even if I fail to get on top of certain mountains, it doesn't matter. Because it's the will to confront these Everest. That's the important thing in life. Everest Motivation Team is dedicated to helping individuals and organizations cope with change and setbacks to achieve goals they thought were impossible. My team and I do this through our workshops, team building events, and coaching. I'm glad I see you today. Do this. I'm glad I see you today.
I hope you guys can't see the sweat that we've gone through. We are sweaty, we are tired, we are hungry, but we had fun. I want to just go back and share with my team.